Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I'm so excited to make this video. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I've been procrastinating because meal prep and cooking takes a lot of work and then recording it in between takes even more work. But I'm ready to do this. I think it will be very beneficial to you guys. Um, I meal prep every single Sunday. It's a and I've honestly recognized the importance of meal prep when it comes to meeting my fitness goals. I saw the biggest change when I became um, consistent and intentional with what I was putting into my body. And that's why I really want to bring this video to you because meal prep to me was one of those things that seems like, first of all, like an entire day of work, so much cleaning, so much work, like so much preparation, and I don't even know what I want to cook. Why are we about to eat it? But now that I've been doing it, it's so easy and I actually have fallen in love with it. I'm going to take you through what I do. I usually cook two to three protein sources. Today I'm going to be making chicken. I'll, I'll be marinating it overnight, so I'll be cooking that tomorrow. I'm going to be making my Korean style extra lean ground beef. Uh, we will also make, is that it for protein? No, yeah, that's it. So two protein sources and um, I, occasionally I cook salmon, but I'm not going to be cooking salmon today. Sometimes I just don't want salmon. Just the day. I'm going to stick to two protein sources this week. I'm okay with honestly eating the same thing every day. My food tastes good and I work out so hard that I'm starving. I'm very hungry. That'll do. So I will literally eat it in like two seconds. It's gone. Two protein sources this week, and then we're going to do two carb sources. I'm going to do white rice, but it's not just white rice. It's and that's on period. And then I'm also going to do my sweet potatoes. And aside from that, we're going to have two greens. So we're going to do zucchini and asparagus. Everything I make is easy and simple. My meals, my number one rule, they have to be easy and simple because I'm not trying to spend ex like the whole day in the kitchen. Usually this takes me, I would say, two to three hours, and that includes like the cleanup, the prep in the beginning, everything. So it's not that long, two to three hours, hours out of your week, and you're prepped for the week. That's an amazing thing. So follow along with me. I hope that this is something that maybe you can get into the routine of doing too. Like I said, I know it seems kind of hard, but it's not. Once you start and you get into the routine, you develop the habit, it becomes very simple, okay? So yeah, let's do it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Um, it's about to get real messy up in here. Let's go. Pop. High five, come on. Yeah, good boy, high five. High five, GB. high five, GB. Yay, good boy. Okay guys, let's get into this meal prep video. So I start with my sweet potatoes because it takes the longest to prepare. I'm washing them, drying them, and then I'm going to chop them up. My squares that I chop them up are never even, but that's completely okay. I preheat my oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And then you're gonna see here on the screen how I season my sweet potatoes. I spray it with some light olive oil and then I season with all the ingredients that you see on the screen. And then I make sure to really distribute that evenly and mix it up. Then I go ahead and line my pans with parchment paper. It's just easier this way and less of a cleanup. And I arrange my sweet potatoes so that they're all evenly distributed and they're not covering each other. I feel like I'm doing a puzzle piece. And then I go ahead and bake for 30 minutes. Up next we have our zucchini. I'm going to thoroughly wash it, dry them, and then I'm going to chop them up into little pieces. And I like to air fry my zucchini. Obviously there's different ways of cooking it. I just find it the easiest and plus I like the way it tastes. Season it with everything that you see on the screen and then I make sure to shake them up so that the season is evenly distributed. I line my air fryer with this parchment paper again and I put in my zucchini and I air fry at 375 degrees for 12 minutes and I make sure to shake halfway through. I'm getting ready to chop up the ingredients that I use to season my Korean style ground beef. So I'm using green onion, I chop up some garlic as well as some ginger. I combine everything in a bowl and then I add some additional ingredients which you see on the screen here. 
and then I make sure to mix it really, really thoroughly. This is me just checking in on the zucchini and shaking it up halfway through. So it looks like our sweet potato are done and good to go. So we're gonna take those out. I'm using extra lean ground beef. I start by browning the beef in a pan. And then I add some extra seasonings. Once the beef is about 80% brown, I add that mixture into it and I just mix it all up. And then shortly after, I also add that green onion. I let that cook for a few minutes and get started on my asparagus. I'm going to wash it and then chop off the ends. And then you will see me get it ready to go into the air fryer. I add the seasonings that you're going to see on the screen. I keep it really, really simple. And then I'm going to let that air fry for 12 minutes at 400 degrees. After washing my rice, I add one and three fourths cups of water. I use light coconut milk, but you can use the regular type of coconut milk. Light is just less fat. And then I'm going to mix it in, add my turmeric, mix it all together. Once it's brought to a boil, reduce the heat and let it simmer for 13 minutes. So this is how I prep and marinate my jerk chicken breast, which I will be cooking the next day. So I rinse it with vinegar, I pat it dry, and then I add all my seasonings together. And again, don't forget to mix and thoroughly distribute those seasonings. I like to show my chicken a lot of love. I'm just gonna pop that in the fridge to let it marinate overnight. Checking in on the asparagus, it's done and it's looking great, as well as the rice, exactly how I love it. So yes, I find the easiest way to do this is just take out my scale ones. We'll have to take it out. I'm gonna take it out again tomorrow to do my chicken. And then potato. My carbs are 150 grams. Welcome to day two of the meal prep when I cook my jerk chicken. I got this grill from Amazon. It's just a gas uh, stove top grill and I love it. I noticed my chicken tastes so much better on this grill. Of course, Chief is right beside me as I'm cooking as always. Chicken is done and good to go. And then I'm going to get started on my celery juice, which is something new I've been implementing into my routine. I drink it every morning. It has so many benefits, but mainly I'm just trying to get rid of my hormonal acne. So I chop it all up into little pieces. I put it in the blender. And I'm going to also add some ginger as well as some lemon. And then I top that off with some water, add that cover and I blend it. And then once it's done, I'm going to use like a nut bag strainer to strain it. And this works so well. I actually get like, I would say two to three glasses of celery juice from just one stalk of celery, which is really great. Finished weighing out my chicken meals and put them into containers. And that's it. We happy danced as we walk to the fridge to stock up all of our meals for the week. I hope you enjoyed this video and can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye!